hours of driving and uh, made it here to the Buffalo River. We haven't quite got on the river yet, but I just got up, getting camp packed up. First night we couldn't stay on the river, it's not allowed. And they just reopened the river where you can camp, all this and that. So that's what we're gonna do the rest of this weekend. Uh, this campsite's not too bad. It's pretty nice, nice little river down there. Not too shabby. Get the day going. Hopefully catch some fish. I made it to the water. I'm on the river. Water's a little dirty. It rained all night, so that's to expect. But uh, flow is great. Water levels are, I think, perfect. And we're about to go hit the first section by Rush Springs. A little white water, a little white water action. Should be good. Just waiting on everybody else to get their asses in the water. And, uh, yeah, we'll be golden. Well, here's at the rush point. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty typical. It's a little crazy. Probably want to hug left, and we'll probably hit, we'll have to go through a little bit of that, but try not to go in that middle there. That might be a little difficult, but I think we'll be all right. Trust that we'll be fine. Back up a little bit, I'm the last to go. So I better make it. <laughs> this is really one of the only sketchy parts of this river, but this one's actually kind of enjoyable. It's, I don't, I never hit any rocks, none of that, but never know, always want to be prepared. But yeah, those waves sure do get intimidating when you're setting eye level with them. Here we go. Woo! Holy schnizzle. Oh, someone went over. Not good. Holy moly. Here we go. Woo! Oh, whoo, 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 yeah, baby. Oh, Kristen went over. Uh, whoo, whoo, that's cold. Oh, sh I'm almost losing a paddle. <laughs> I gotta help Kristen. Throw rope. I got gotcha. you. Here, you want this? Yeah. Oh. Yep, well, <laughs> I could have looked at it myself. Oh, damn, you got something caught. Is that your ice chest? Oh, someone went overboard there, too. Oh, shit. Had a shit. I got to turn. Come just on, just try to get push it to, the, to your left there. Don't get caught on that. Straight in front of you. Watch out, watch out, there's a big, big thing there. Watch it. Fine. Just keep your head above. This is bad. Oh, this is not good. Oh boy, this is not good. Oh, Lordy. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna try to get up there. I can't see the bottom. Very, very dangerous, man. Make sure my crack doesn't get taken away. That right there's a Oh, that's cold. It's not a good start, people. Not a good start. I think Kristen will be fine. Just need to get her warmed up. Why does she not have her? Someone didn't have their life vest on. That's why it's always important. Have your life vest on, people. 
and I'm not twist my, ow, twist my ankle here. Water is a little cold. Spider web in the face. Is that nice? Ooh. Ooh, that's cold. That's a cold mama. We got to get her kayak. I may have lost a thorough rope, but hey, hey, you know what? You do what it takes. Oh. How I'm gonna get that dislodged? Holy crap! Oh, big rock. Be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. A little nervous. <sighs> I'm catch my breath. There's something in the way here. Holy crap, man. How are we supposed to get that? <clears throat> There's no way I can swim across. Ooh, there's a line I see hanging out. Oh, it's so freaking heavy. I may have to go back and get my fins because I could at least swim a little better and faster that way. Yeah. I got my fins on. This is the worst case scenario, people. Get your kayak stuck like that. I'm not sure how I'm exactly gonna get it out. Because I do not want to get stuck myself. Ooh. That tree branch broken. Man, that's some strong current right there, buddy. If anything, grab your boat and pull it that way. Don't grab the rope. Okay. I got the rope. Yeah. Just pull it where there's no current. You got it? Yes. Move it, move it more over. I don't want to go through it again. <laughs> At least you got your boat. Well, that has all their food. So I'm gonna attempt to swim out there, grab onto it, and try my best to get it without getting stuck. Here we go. Before I get in there, I'm getting my breath back for sure. Get off me, Vine. Take your time. Don't panic. Stressful situation like this, it's the worst thing you can do. I just gotta avoid hitting that rock, so I need to swim on the side of that. And I'm gonna walk out there as deep as I can before I get swept away. So I don't recommend this, people. Very dangerous. Here, here we go. Come on, baby. Catch my breath. I made it. So, we just made it past that exciting, whew, almost deadly experience there. 
Got the boat free, got the gear freed. Had to swim out in the middle. Holy crap, I'm, I'm beat. I am beat. There's some more crap drifting down. We need to go get it. But stats report, had a big garage sale. Everybody lost their fishing poles but me. Uh, looks like I'll be fishing a lot on this trip. <laughs> Maybe I'll share. Tie your stuff down, man. Have it rigged down. You never know what could happen. I'm glad we're through that though, but that was that was the worst case scenario right there. I think nearly everybody flipped. Ben's bro or cousin didn't flip, but his his ca or canoe filled up with water all the way. So, yeah, things can be very sketchy out here on the Buffalo. Just be prepared. Yeah, calm after the storm. Whew. Man, it is nice to be out here. I just uh, wish that didn't happen. Feel really bad for him, man. That sucks. It really sucks. But hey, we got all the food. We got, you know, tents, everything you need to, to survive the next few days. So thank goodness for that, man. We got enough to still enjoy this trip with. We got our food back. We got our tent back. Got our kayak back. <laughs> Holy crap, man. It's been a hell of an adventure already. This river, there's no no help past that point we just put in there's no help so once you lose something that's on you uh, even if it's a kayak i honestly don't know how how this trip could have gone any further i, I don't know how we would have yeah you gotta have a kayak <laughs> i'm glad we all made it through everybody's alive that's what matters there's good old ben he swapped a kayak I think that was a good idea. I didn't lie, man. I, mean, I, ain't, I ain't making fun of you. You just automatically think I'm making fun of you. I don't do that. Look at that fool. There we go. There he goes. Taking everybody's good stuff. No, he gave me a boat that had a 300 weight capacity. I know. Okay? Oh, you don't know that, do you? You didn't say, hey, Ben, you're a little fat for that boat. Huh? I didn't, say it. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Alright, here we go again. This doesn't look nearly as bad as the last one, but man, you never know. Nothing too crazy. A little bumpy. Ooh, here's the legend, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. His debut. Look at him. I'll have to edit that out, sir. It's kids. I do not give you permission. Do not give you permission. You didn't make to me sign my videos. You didn't make me sign a contract, so it don't count. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't think I explained too well uh, what we're doing here. We're just floating off the river. We're gonna be camping off the river um, for about two days or so. Try to do about oh, 20, 23, 24 miles. I mean, usually I start a day ahead, but I mean, this water is moving pretty quick. I'm not having to paddle at all. It's, it's actually pretty nice. But whew, when we hit those little rapid areas, man, my, my anxiety goes up. I think we probably are the only people out here. I would assume most people will turn around at the spot we all, all of us flipped at. And uh, even the guy said we were the first ones, you know, to, to you know, sign the lease and all that crap since the reopening so hopefully when we get to camp or something do some fishing or something or catch fish here in a little bit that'd be nice but until then we'll see Ooh, check out this boat looks like it got beat up still tied to the tree but has no rear end this river can be beast can definitely be beast man this is so freaking relaxing and so intense whenever it's white water we see some white caps so it's all bundled in the ball together on this trip this guy decided to join me little pretty butterfly Show yourself, fool. Well, 
We made it to our first campsite. This looks pretty promising. As long as the water didn't raise up. Uh, I'm probably going to go up there close to the trees. But, uh, yeah, we made it extremely far for the first day. That water is just going, man. So, not too bad. Woo Kristen, look like she's making potty. <laughs> and look at this. The next day. Ooh. It's the front yard today. Can't beat that, man. We'll get up, get some breakfast, get on the river. Whew, day two. Down the river. I think we're already halfway done with this river. So I think we'll bank the other half today easily if everything goes smooth. No hiccups. I think we'll uh, make Elephant Rock. Get to that camp final campsite. Yeah, that'll be the trip by tomorrow. Takeouts. But three, four miles away from that point, it's not very far. Coming up on something big in the water here. I don't know if it's alive or what it is. You can hardly see it right now, but I got my eye on it. Oh, it's foam. Look at all this foam. It's a bunch of foam. Ooh, that's weird. Oh, there's a deer. Come here. One thing about this place, man, bluffs never disappoint. Every turn, just like this. Usually the water's blue and clear, but we came here after a bunch of rain. Well, we haven't even been on the river for 30 minutes, so we've already been a mile, just about. It's how fast the sucker's moving right now. Oh! Yeah, buddy. Yeah. I caught one, finally. Woo, caught my first bass of this whole trip. Not the biggest one, but hey, I'll take it, man. Coming from nothing to that, I'll take it. Now the release. Thank you, buddy. Made my day. This ain't nothing. This ain't got nothing on us. I do want to avoid that up ahead. Got a little log friend next to me. Good size little waves. A little fun. Woo! 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 Ho! Jacked up my camera. Boats up this far on the buffalo. Crazy. Woohoo! Yeah, man. Three of them just passed us. It's crazy. Moving. Hitting that five mile an hour marker. <laughs> that means like a little turbo, a little turbo jet. Look at that raccoon. Get him a sip of water. Oh, yeah. Just ignoring me. He don't care. Be hungry. Moving, buddy. He's moving. Ooh, is that a dry bag up in that tree? Sure doesn't look like it. No, just a bucket. Broken bucket. Just a bucket. Oh, they didn't have their tent staked down. 
That's what happens. You don't stick your tent down properly. Hopefully it don't blow off in the water, man. Made it through safely, sadly. Elephant Rock looks just as elephanty as ever. Pass through, we want to find a camping site pretty quickly after here. Final campsite. They told us up ahead is uh, busy, busy, busy. So, since they reopened the uh, river. So we had to just find a spot, pick it, keep it. It turned out pretty well. I don't know about y'all, but uh, I didn't know dragonflies ate moths. I never knew that was like a thing. That's weird. Yeah, he's eating them. That's crazy. Huh. I never really knew what dragonflies ate. <laughs> now I do. Last meal of the night. Look at that. You go with the right people and they cook you the best food. Good job, Ben. <laughs> Good job, Kristen. <laughs> there we have it, people. The bin is natural habitat. Very graceful. Extremely graceful. So, day two. Got maybe a mile or two of river left for takeout. Feeling pretty good. Not happy about the fishing, but it is what it is. It's usually they're just biting nonstop on this river. Yeah. None of us, not even people we've asked on this river passing by got luck. So maybe it's just a bad time, man. With the river's up, the fishing's bad. Woo, got the wind blowing me back up. It caught me a nice little sunfish. That'll do. Pretty little thing, man. Look at it. Woo, with the blue in it. Then right towards the rock. Brace. Boom. Here we are, final destination. We made it. I think takeout is, should be somewhere straight across. I don't know. I've never been to that takeout before. At our new takeout spot, which is nice. It's challenging to get to though, but you gotta go, go up current and that white river pushes back pretty good. But apparently, I mean, this takes off a good five miles out of the trip, which I kind of like right now. That sounds pretty nice. I'm ready to get on the road, get back home. I got some gifts waiting on me. Can't wait. But yeah, I do like this takeout right here. That water's moving now. Check it out. See if we can do it. Woo. It calms down. Pick back up again. Overshoot it. That's nice of her. Oh, yeah. Well, well, that's it. We're back safely and soundly. Just yeah. about. Yeah. How we do, Sean? Doing great. Right. <laughs> Let's go check these guys out, help them out a little bit. Hey, Ben. Hi. Kristen, how was it? It's great. It was good? We survived. Uh, I'm shaky. <laughs> Old Ben, man of the plan. Got Chris over there. Fire starter, fire king. <laughs> we got Devin here, man. Devin. Where, where he at? Where oh, there you are, man. Supposed to be? Woo. Huh? Tell him who it really is. Yeah, put that in there. Gotta edit that out. <laughs> Millions of people watching right now. Oh, you wish you had any photos. <laughs> Damn, oh, man. We're gonna leave this one together. Okay? It's a low blow, blow man. <laughs> we came to Riley's takeout. Really cool place. It's just kind of challenging to get to, depending on the current. Not too, too bad, but she was there to help us out. Very, very awesome. Very, very nice. But it looks like. They do some rentals here and 
all that for the White River. Pretty cool. I never knew this existed over here. I come research this a little better. Do my homework. But yeah, this is cool. I love to live there, right there. Right by the freaking river. Oh, that's a life. Man, it's so much nicer getting off here than that uh, ship's ferry. I don't think I recorded the initial going across, but once you get to the White River, there's a little bitty opening that you're supposed to make it to across the river. You'll probably have to go up against current to get across. Uh, we had to do it twice because it's basically a big old island in the middle. But yeah, I like this takeout very, very much. Met the owners of this beautiful house. And uh, they said if you call them, and I'll put the number down either in the description or I'll put it on the screen up right here. Right here. I'll edit that. Put the number there. Take that number down. Give them a call. When you get on the Buffalo River, leave them a message. If they don't answer, just let them know what day you're supposed to show up. And they'll actually wait for you. And uh, they got boats. They'll come out and tow you if uh, you got someone that can't go against the current you know needs any help any assistance will come out and help you it's really cool it's five dollars a boat i didn't know that but that's not that's cheap that's super cheap we gave him or ben gave him a good tip i didn't have any cash on me i just wasn't aware of any extra co costs noted we'll bring extra cash next time definitely tip money they deserve tips awesome people like that need to keep being awesome well that's it for this adventure I had a blast. Freaking holy crap. The beginning of that trip was insane. It was worst case scenario, man. Holy crap. That that's the things you don't want happening happened. Yeah, end of this trip. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.